Here is lesson 37 for clarinet. Congratulations, you have made it to Sawmill Creek. All right, let's talk about this a little bit before we go through it. You've noticed a lot of things. You noticed dynamics. You've noticed first and second endings. You've noticed accidentals. Um, hopefully you've noticed that there is clarinet line and then two piano lines. Okay? Keep in mind, you're just reading the top lines, just doing clarinet. You're not doing that piano part, okay? All right, uh, let's play through it. Uh, one quick note, if you hear something weird on my part, I am reading off my score, so in the middle of it, I'm going to have to turn page. So don't worry if you hear that. Here we go. We are going to start at measure three, okay? You know that we'll play measure three, measure four, measure five, measure six. Take the repeat, play measure three, measure four, measure five, Measure seven, because that's that second ending. Now, why don't we repeat, repeat back to the beginning? Because there's what we call a reverse repeat sign. Okay? So, that reverse repeat sign is at measure three. So, that means that we're not going to go back to the beginning. We're just going to go back to measure three. Before we play it, our code word, I'm sure you can guess, is sawmill. Here we go. Let's do it. And one, two, ready. something new that I did for my B flat. Instead of register an A key, I did A and that second from the top trill key. That makes a cleaner B flat. So here's our regular B flat. Here's a new one. A little bit cleaner, definitely cleaner on a better quality instrument. Okay. And again, if I play that and I put all those extra fingers down, it cleans it up. And we'll talk about these fingerings during class. Okay? Congratulations, you have played through through Sawmill Creek. <laughs>